Hi, welcome to my channel. And this is the first video of Mail Server Tools and Terminology series. Today we are going to know about the concepts of MTA or Mail Transfer Agent, Mail User Agent, MSA or Mail Submission Agent, Mail Delivery Agent or Local Delivery Agent, Mail Retrieval Agent, and SMTP protocol. So let's get started. Mail transfer agent or message transfer agent. This is actually the mail server which receives mail from the MUA or MSA and deliver the local mail to the local delivery agent and remote mail to the remote delivery agent. Local delivery agent stores the mail to local user's mailbox and remote delivery agent communicates with the remote mail server or MTA to deliver the mail. MTA is not like a single delivery agent. It is the main engine which could contain other email process and queues. MTA maintains the 25 port and its main purpose is to process the incoming mail and relay the mail to the appropriate delivery agent. Mail user agent or MUA. MUA stands for mail user agent. All email clients are called MUA in email terminology. MUA can be desktop software like Outlook, Thunderbird, Mailbird, etc. Or it can be web client like Roundcube, SquareMail, etc. Main function of MUAs are to communicate with mail server, to send mail, and to pop IMAP server for receiving mail. If mail server or pop IMAP server are configured with different port and protocol, then we have to configure MUA as per the server requirement. Here you can see that server incoming POP3 port and outgoing SMTP port are mentioned here. So if the server listens on different port, then we have to mention here the port appropriately. If server requires authentication to send mail or require SSL, MUA must comply with that. So MUAs are the email client who manages the user email. MSA or Mail Submission Agent. This is a program inside the mail server package which listens on port 587 and it is for receiving mail from the MUA or mail clients. At the mail client normally you use to configure outgoing server or SMTP address on 25 port. But this is not right because MSA is built for this purpose. For sending mail we should use MSA 587 port instead of 25 port because MSA talks with eSMTP or extended SMTP with the mail client and it doesn't allow sending mail without authentication. That's why it is more secure. Many ISP blocks 25 port to connect from the MUA for spam protection. In that case, we have to connect to MSA for email delivery. MSA receives mail from the MUA and delivered to MTA for final delivery. Though this is not mandatory to use MSA 587 port, but it is highly recommended. SMTP 25 port is for server to server communication and MSA 587 port is for the MUA to MTA communication. LDA or local delivery agent. Local delivery agent is a local mail transport or local mail delivery application which is built into the mail server software and its main duty is to take mail from the MTA and deliver to local users mailbox. We have some widely used LDA like proc mail and mail drop and on postfix local mail delivery agent name is local which reads dot forward file and email aliases file before delivered to users mailbox so lda is taking mail from the mta and delivering the mail to the users mailbox and from there user can retrieve the mail by using pop and imap server mra or mail retrieval agent it is a third party application MRA's sole purpose is to pull or fetch email from remote mail server. MRA is being used on the office scenario. If organization's mail server is shut down after office hour, then the mail are stored at ISP's mail server. And during office hour starts, MRA downloads all the email from the remote mail storage and distributed user email to their mailboxes through the local delivery agents. If any user has email mailbox at multiple mail server, MRA can retrieve user emails from multiple sources. SMTP conversation. 
SMTP is the mail transport protocol. All mail server communicates with each other with this protocol. SMTP is used to send mail from MUA to MTA and MTA to MTA for send and receive both. SMTP well-known port is 25. This protocol is a combination of several commands. When we send mail, the communication with recipient server occurs with three steps. First, they handshake with each other with SMTP hello greetings. Then the email transfer happens and after finishing the transfer, they close the connection. When a server wants to send a mail to another mail server, first one becomes the SMTP client and it sends hello command to the SMTP server to identify itself and initiate the SMTP conversation. The domain name or IP address of the SMTP client is sent as an argument. If the SMTP server is agreed to talk with the SMTP client, then it sends the 250 OK signal with its supported feature and list of authentication mechanism. Here you can see on the step one. At the second step, client sends the mail from command. If the sender's email address is accepted, the server will reply with a 250 OK reply code. At the third stage, the client sends the RCPT2 command. RCPT2 specifies the email address of the recipient. This command can be repeated multiple times to deliver a single email to multiple recipients. After the RCPT2 command, client sends the data command to the server. The server will respond with a 354 reply code. The data command starts the transfer of the message content body text attachment etc. When all messages content have been sent, a single dot must be sent to stop the transfer and if the message is accepted for the delivery, the SMTP server will respond with a 250 reply code and sends the message queue number. If you want to reset the connection, we can put the RSET command. Finally, we can close the connection with the quiet command. In this way, the whole SMTP conversation occurs between two servers.